Good morning and this lesson is in continuation with the first part which is all about the NDRRMC. Now, uh, actually this is very timely especially that when I checked the news yesterday we have an incoming um, typhoon. Um, I think uh, it's Ulysses. Um, it has the same... Um, pa uh, it follows the same path as that of Raleigh and in fact it's just one week interval and we have R um, STU so we have two um, typhoons already that um, passed by the Philippines uh, Philippine area of responsibility in just as an interval of one week and it's, this only means that the Philippines is in a very vulnerable um, location in the western pacific now going back um, since the last lesson mentioned about the ocd or the office of the civil defense now we will just have to um, include its primary mission and it's provided in the said law it says to administer a comprehensive national defense and disaster risk reduction and management program by providing leadership in the continuous development of strategic and systematic approaches as well as measures to reduce the vulnerabilities and risk to hazards and manage the consequences of disasters so this is a very very important mission of the said government agency and if you are interested of the specifics of the powers and functions of the OCD or the Office of the Civil Defense you can check on RA 10121 section 9 now going back the disaster um, reduction uh, risk and reduction management organization have the following um, levels according to the law and we have the regional level and the local government level and uh, in a while you will know the coordination when it comes to disasters affecting one barangay up to even two provinces or regions now the regional level shall coordinate, integrate, supervise, and evaluate the activities of the local DRRMCs. And the local government levels, we have the province, the city, municipality, and the barangay. Now, what happens if there are uh, there is an emergency affecting a barangay? Then we have the Barangay Development Council, which serves as the um, the local DRRMC. Now, if and when there are two or more barangays affected by the emergency, then you have the city or municipal DRRMC. When it comes to two or more cities or municipalities affected, then you have the provincial level. And if and when there are two or more provinces affected, then we have the regional level. And if and when there are two or more regions affected, we have the national office. Now, it is very common to hear declaration or see on TV um, local government executives and the president um, declaring a state of calamity. Now, if and when there, uh, you hear this, you have to take note that it is made by the president upon the recommendation of the national council the declaration and the lifting is set uh, the criteria for lifting and the declaration is made by the national council or the ndrrmc now you have to take note that it's not exclusively the power of the president to declare and lift the state of calamity or the declaration because the law even provides that the local sangunian or the local council upon the recommendation of the local DRRMC based on the results of damage assessment and needs analysis 
So you have to take note again that is not the power is not exclusive to the president. Now, what are the remedial measures when it comes to state of calamity? And you have to take note that um, there is an existing emergency or calamity. The law provides for remedial measures. Imposition, I'm sorry if there's <laughs> that background, someone is passing by our house. Okay, the imposition of price ceiling on basic necessities and prime commodities by the president so there should be a cap now there is a need to monitor prevent and control of local price coordination council of overpricing and profiteering and hoarding of prime commodities medicines and petroleum products if you notice what is being specified are the basic necessity uh, necessities of human beings now the third and the fourth part um, remedial measures are as follows programming and reprogramming of funds for the repair and safety upgrading of public infrastructures and facilities this is very important especially like earthquake or typhoons or volcanic eruptions in which uh, public infrastructures and facilities are being affected now this the last one is very important especially to um those who want to rebuild their business or their residences affected or being um, washed away by the calamity and there's a granting of no interest loans by government financing or lending institutions to the most affected section of the population through their cooperatives or people's organizations so since i've mentioned about profiteering hoarding and overpricing the next part of the lesson is specifically allotted for us to know what are the penal sanctions in case of overpricing, profiteering, and hoarding. Or we will tackle the prohibited acts under the law because you have to take note that this is not just an administrative um, law but it is also a criminal law criminalizing a specific act so our next part would be on the prohibited acts and penalties in case the law is being violated so i hope that um, you learned something in this very short um, lesson and for those who will be affected by the coming of typhoon ulysses the team prays for you and please you take care and also those not affected but even by signal number one you have also to take note and be updated of the news because there could be a sudden change of the path of the typhoon and again the team is thanking all those who liked and followed our facebook page and also our youtube subscribers and for you to be keep uh, to be updated for all the posts kindly click on the bell button so that you will have uh, you will have the notification now again the team wants to emphasize our lex classroom website and it's being improved day to day by um, our team thank you so much thank you thank you and take care especially those in the southern tagalog and the metro or the metro manila area because I check on the news actually before I made this um, lesson. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you.